Good morning, comrade subscribers. Hope you're all well. Uh, I saw this on the YouTube shorts. I thought, well, that looks interesting. And it was relatively cheap considering what it does. So I thought I'd grab one. It got here pretty quickly, actually. Open it from the bottom. M5 stack card pewter. Well, you, pro oh, you know all this. You've already seen the thumbnail. I should just do a, a blick thumbnail. Cool. Oh, and some, okay. Uh, what do I do with that? That's it. Some good plastic bubble wrap. Put that to the side. So, card computer, otherwise known as a card pewter. Oh yeah, there we go, card pewter. M5 stack. Card size computer. I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 so, it is sealed. There we go. Okay, got that as well. How cool is that? Uh, Lego. <laughs> Lego compatible. S3 stamp. So SD card goes in there. Reset button. Uh, what's that? Oh, ask. I can't. I can't. I need my glasses. I'll be able to read it when I'm um, go on the computer. Button go or G zero. Okay. USB C. On off. Tiny little OLED screen. God, look at. <laughs> Crammed a lot. They've crammed a lot on there, haven't they? A lot of information. Okay. Made it pretty. Button. Okay, reset button. Okay. Oh, IR. G44. So infrared as well. Uh, oh, here we go. This is everything that's in it, apparently. Um, bu -bu -bu. Oh, IPS LCD. Okay, it's not OLED. OTG, so what that's on the go for the USB, I guess. Uh, so that's a micro SD card, I2S speaker, microphone, infrared, groove, battery, and it continues. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I thought this looked pretty, um, pretty cool. It was pretty cheap. So I've got one idea what I want to do. I, I did a quick video before about uh, um, solar panels. The inverters have got uh, Wi-Fi modules on them, uh, which upload the um, upload the real-time uh, power generation to some server in China. Um, but you can actually, it's just you know HTML uh, put and get commands. So you can actually just get that information locally. So I thought I might do something like that. Rather than using an app on my phone to read the data from China, I thought, well, I'll use a Chinese computer, um, something like this. I could read the data directly from the... Um, because they got fixed IP addresses, obviously. I, I, um, yeah. So I, I don't know if I need to charge it up. On, off button. Maybe need to... Oh! There we go. Yes, I know I should do screen capture. So I ordered this straight from M5 Stack. I didn't, um, uh, didn't order it from AliExpress or anything like that. Cool. Record. Oh, okay. No, that was um, cursor. Oh, cursor keys down here. Oh, chat. Okay. <laughs> Remote. Okay, zero Wi-Fi. So I'm obviously going to need to read the uh, read the manual. That's return. I guess that's return there, is it? Hello, card pewter. Cool. Um, how do I go back? How do I escape? Oh, maybe the escape key. No. Function. Oh, and, um, okay. Maybe I need to go function escape or maybe I need to hold them down together no okay all right <laughs> what about if I just reset it there we go cool
Cool. So yeah, uh, you know as much about this as I do, basically, at the moment. Oh, okay, press something. Okay. So scan, so what's a scan for Wi-Fi, access points, record, chat. Cool, okay. Um, so I obviously have to set this up and... Cool. Okay. So you can write some script there. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show this. A nice little quick look. I've got to figure out how to use it. Um, but like I said, I do have something I want to try it for. I want to try... Um, you know, reading the uh, the real time in uh, solar inverter data um, directly from the two inverters. We've got two. We've got ten kilowatt systems, so we've got two five kilowatt inverters. Um, so, oh yeah, and also apparently it's got magnetic. It's magnetic back. Oh, look, we, of course we can pull it apart, uh, but it's got a magnetic back apparently. I don't have any metal here I can connect it to. So, like for example, you could like whack it onto um, a fridge fridge door or something. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So magnetic. Isn't that cool? All right, let's... Um, looks like we've got two screws here. We'll have a quick open it up, eh? Okay, just undone, done those two screws. Oh, no, I haven't. It's definitely very magnetic. Um, <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay. Just come on, a little bit more. There we go. Cool. Okay. Oh, okay, so we've got the magnets on either side. Battery in the middle there. 1400 milliamp hours. Sorry, show that there. So what was what was that connection there for? Oh, oh okay, that gets okay, that's the battery connection and then the battery to the com, uh, to the actual machine there. We've got even more info here, I guess. Jeez, I really put a lot of info on it. Oh, what's this on the side? Oh, okay, five volts out. Sorry, five volts out, five volts in. Okay, and that's on port A up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to um, <laughs> do a lot of reading on this. Yeah, so that was. Um, that's basically it. I thought this was a neat little thing. It's it's pretty cheap, I think. Um, I'm not sure. I'll put it on the screen how much I paid. Uh, and it got here pretty quickly uh, from China. So, there we go. So, I'll uh, figure out how to do it. And um, like I said, I'll see if I can get this. It um, should be pretty easy. I know what I have to send. I have to send a uh, put command, I think. What was it a get? I did a video about it. Um, I'll link the video. <coughs> I'm not sure what this tape is. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if it's um, electrical. I um, don't know if it's got some uh, electrical properties on it or something. It's conductive or something like that. I don't know. M5. Oh, okay. <laughs> It just says M5 stack. <laughs> That's why it's black. Okay, M5 stack tape. There we go. Let's see how. <laughs> let's see what we can do. There's probably lots of people on. Oh, okay. There's screws on the front. that have done quite interesting things compared to what I want to do with it. But let's see. Bye for now.